This video was brought to you by NCIX. Great technology, selection, and service. So whenever building a system either for gaming or for editing, have you ever wondered how much system memory or RAM you actually need for a specific build? Well, there's a bit of misconception surrounding system memory in that we assume the basics of more RAM means better performance across the board. And what is the optimal capacity to be actually utilized with certain tasks? For example, most gaming machines come with 8GB of RAM that is plenty enough as games require more processing power from the CPU and the GPU instead of RAM. And in our tests with Watch Dogs, that is a graphically intensive game, only 6GB in total was utilized during game time. So we would suggest to stick to 8GB if your sole purpose is gaming and invest into other resources for the machine instead of more RAM. Now for this test, we'll be using our Super Project Workstation that we built for Eber recently. Make sure to check out our build log if you're interested in the detailed overview of the parts. And for memory, we are utilizing Corsair Vengeance Quad Channel 64 GB kit at 1866 megahertz. So first, let's start with some generic benchmarks like Geekbench. And it's clear that RAM doesn't have much impact on the scores. Uh, same story with Nova Bench, where you only gain 4% higher score with the 64 gigabyte versus the 16 gigabyte, the lowest uh, capacity. Specific RAM benchmarks like uh, Memory Mark Test reveal interesting scaling result where doubling the memory from 16 to 32 gigabytes increases the score by a factor of 1.8. So almost linear scaling here while increasing RAM capacity by a factor of 4 from 16 to 64 gigabytes increases the score by a factor of 3.4. So we can see that RAM scaling is not linear when we reach into the higher capacities in this benchmark. RAM for editing, on the other hand, is a completely different story where programs like Adobe Premiere and After Effects can utilize most of the available RAM for much faster render times, as the goal here is to reduce render times. Especially in After Effects, an application that can eat your memory without a problem showed impressive results, with doubling the capacity from 16 to 32 gigabytes reduced our render times by a factor of 1.4, while quadrupling the RAM to 64 gigabytes reduced the render times by a factor of 3.1. An interesting result should show that 64 gigabytes scaled better in our render times in After Effects than the 32 gigabytes did. Moving on to Premiere, again, it's all about reducing our render times, doubling the capacity to 32 gigabytes. We saved 44 seconds on our video render, so that's a 13% improvement. Doubling the RAM capacity further to 64 gigabytes saved us almost two minutes with a 32% reduction in render times from our control point of 16 gigabytes. So there are obvious benefits of having more RAM for video editing, but of course the question of price comes into play and whether or not the time saved is worth that much as that is one expensive kit. But still looking at our performance numbers, the 64GB kit comes out to be a better value upgrade over the 32GB kit as performance scaling was actually better with higher capacity at 64GB both for Premiere and After Effects. And so we hope this video was helpful to establish how much RAM you should buy for your specific build and let us know how much memory your machine has with a comment below and do you ever fully utilize it during game time or editing. So as always, thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe for more similar content and we'll see you in the next one.